It probably doesn't need to be said that if you can check your homework before it is graded, you'll generally get a better grade. But how can you do that? I want to show you two tricks that you can use now in Notepad++ to help you catch things before you turn it in and, and get it graded and find out that you made little mistakes that you could have caught. One is I'm going to show you how to use the color coding features in Notepad++ in order to check for matching tag pairs. And then I'm going to show you how to work from a template file. So I created a little, very simple little HTML file here. And this file has the doc type declaration. It has the opening HTML tag. It has the head section here. And I have a body section. And in the body section, I have a couple of uh, H tags. And then I have a uh, UL list. So let me show you what happens here. The first thing, once you have your file created, what you want to do, the last thing before you turn that file in, notice that whenever you click on any HTML tag in Notepad++ that you get the element color coded. And what it does is that it color codes the matching tag pair. So here is the opening HTML element. Here is the closing HTML tag. Here is the closing body, the opening body the closing head, the opening head, and it, you don't have to go the the closing first. You click the opening body, it highlights the closing body. The opening H1, the closing H1, H2, closing H2, and right on down the list. As a matter of fact, just for a hint, this is exactly what I do when I grade your, uh, your HTML files when you submit them. I open your HTML file and then I simply work normally up from the bottom and I just click like this. And I'm, I'm not really looking uh, at what's happening over here on the right side of the screen. I just look over here on the left side of the screen. I look where I click because if where I click I get a solid color bar then I know without having to look up and actually see it I know that I have a matching tag pair there where I, that, that corresponds to the one I've clicked. So here I click, here I click, 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 and everything matches all the way up. Now I'm going to show a couple of uh, things that, that you can catch with this. Here's a, a fairly common mistake students will do is you're typing in the LIs you might leave out the forward slash. So if this is the way you turn in your paper and I opened it then I would go click, 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 uh oh. I didn't get a color bar when I click on this tag. So I'm going to look over to find its corresponding tag. Where should that closing tag be? Here it is. And sure enough, I see that the forward slash is not there. When the forward slash is inserted, bingo, it all matches. It works the same if you just, uh, if you as a student, if you accidentally leave the tag out altogether, it works exactly the same bingo. There is no color bar here to tell me that there is a matching tag and so I would comment in your homework that the matching tag on line 13 was missing and the way I found it was simply by doing just like this clicking on these tags. Another fairly common mistake and I saw this on two or three papers in week two is like we had the assignment where you had the H1, H2, H3, H4 and then we had uh, some that would put in uh, the same closing tag for all of them. They probably just copied and then forgot to go in and change it. And so we had H1, closing H1, H2, uh-oh, we don't have a closing H2. Aha, I see, I have a closing H1. If I change that back to 2, aha, I get the color bar. It all matches. And another problem that we have is you see this one, it says, um, in this tag you have the forward slash H1 and it is very very easy very common mistake for people to substitute the lowercase L for a 1. Here you can see the 1 and over here you see well they don't they're not matching pair even though they certainly look a lot alike 
but they're not matching pair because this says H1 and this says HL and I know they don't match because when I click on either one of them I don't get these color bars so I have to come in here and find this change that to a one and now it all matches so this is how you can check now don't worry about the meta tag you're never going to get a matching tag on a on a meta tag and it would be the same for instance if we came in here and uh, put in uh, like a uh, horizontal rule bar and uh, that would create a, a line across the screen just to show you we we'll call this up in notepad plus I mean in Firefox and uh, oh I didn't save the file so we'll go back and actually save that file and now we'll run it in Firefox and there we see we have the horizontal rule and but if I go back to the code if I click on the HR I'm not going to get a color bar because there is no matching tag for some elements these are called closed elements and they're closed because they don't have uh, a, a, a matching tag so don't worry about those but the ones that you know have to have matching tags you just click on them like this and you'll always make sure that you have matching pair now the other thing that I mentioned was besides using the color coding features in notepad plus plus to check for matching tag pairs you can work from a template file okay here's the way you do that once you get a file that's correct you know there are no errors you validated it you've checked all your matching tags you know it's great then come in here in between the body tags take everything out and up here where you have title just change the title to title and get this down to as basic as it can possibly be nothing else needs to be changed nothing else this is content that could be common to all of my files so I'm gonna come here now I'm gonna go file save as and in my list of files I'm gonna save this now as template dot HTML template and so here I have a template file now if I want to create a new uh, file to for an assignment then I can come here and just click open I can come down open my template file here is my template and I can come in here and I can just give it the uh, title that I'm supposed to give it whatever that might be and then I could come down and give it uh, in the body section I could come in and type in my first div come down type in my last div and start off matching my tags like this make sure I got all my closing tags I really don't have to worry about checking my template file they were all correct but be sure and double check them just to be sure they all match I save my file I'm ready to go I'm done with that assignment and I'm far less likely to have mistakes whenever I work like this using the tools that are in notepad plus plus to help you to catch your errors